Wi-Fi 7 comes with a lot of cool new features like 4096 QAM, 320 MHz, MLO, preamble puncturing and 16x16 16 16 MIMO which will enhance the performance of Wi-Fi and also increase the reliability and efficiency. But do these features really work in real world? So now in this series Wi-Fi 7 put to test, we are gonna experiment on various Wi-Fi 7 features and understand their behavior in real world. So in today's episode, we are gonna experiment on 4K QAM. Previously in Wi-Fi 6, 1024 QAM used to encode up to 10 bits per symbol. But now in Wi-Fi 7, 4K QAM encodes up to 12 bits per symbol which improves the Phi data rates up to 20%. But this comes at a cost as higher modulation needs much better SNR, the distance between the transmitter and receiver should be very low. To demonstrate this trade-off, let us look at a simple example. Let us say Bob wants to say something to Alice and he starts speaking slowly. Then Alice should be able to understand what Bob is saying even if she moves far away from Bob. But now let us say Bob starts speaking faster. He will be able to send more information to Alice in a shorter amount of time. But the trade-off is that Alice will have to come a bit closer to understand what Bob is saying. As Alice starts going farther away from Bob, Bob will have to speak slower so that Alice can still understand what he is saying. Similarly, high MCS rates follow the same trade-off. The transmitter can send more information in the same time but only if the RF conditions are good. So let's put 4K QAM to test. In order to test this feature, I have used a TP-Link access point which supports Wi-Fi 7 and is available in market. Along with that, as a client I have used B200 radios and installed them in my traffic generator called Landforge. I have configured the operation bandwidth as 160 MHz in the access point and started running traffic. Here are my findings in BE mode. The throughput which I have achieved is up to 2.4 Gbps and I have noticed that the client is operating at MCS 12 and 13 while running the traffic which comprehends the usage of 4096 QAM. I have noticed that the client is running the traffic at MCS 11 and the maximum throughput achieved in AX mode is 2.17 Gbps. So clearly we can see that due to the client operating at MCS 12 and 13, there is nearly 300 Mbps of throughput improvement in Wi-Fi 7 when compared to legacy Wi-Fi modes. To understand the trade-off between the QAM versus distance, I have placed the access point and the traffic generator in two different chambers and connected them using RF cables and attenuators. Now I have initiated a rate versus range test. So while running the traffic, we can see the MCS rates in the Wireshark and they are like MCS 13 but when the distance is increasing, the MCS rates are falling down which is actually resembling the trade-off concept. I have triggered the same test in AX mode as well and here are my findings. The MCS rates are constant up to minus 50 dBm in AX mode whereas in B mode the MCS got dropped even at minus 40 dBm which describes the significant trade-off between the QAM and distance. So in order to check if this access point really supports 4096 QAM, I have started running Wireshark and sniffed some of the beacons broadcasting from the access point. And here are these beacons. There are lots of new information elements involved in Wi-Fi 7 and some of them are EHT capabilities and EHT operation. So now in the EHT capabilities, there are lots of Phi information available regarding the radio used for the Wi-Fi 7 beacon to get broadcasted. So now in this Phi bits, I have seen the 1024 QAM and 4096 QAM in both the transmission as well as receiving the data is supported by the access point. Along with that, I have checked the MCS and NSS sets which are available for this access point to run traffic at 320 MHz bandwidth. And in that MCS sets, what I have noticed is like it supports MCS 12 and 13. So these are the things which I have noticed on the access point side. 
Now let's go to the client side. So in order to check the client side features, I have checked the association request frame that got generated while the client is trying to connect to the access point. And in that frame, I have seen the similar kind of FI information in the EHT capabilities stating that this client is capable of operating at 4096 QAM. So by this, we can come to an understanding that this access point and the client are claiming to be operating at 4096 QAM based on Wireshark frames. So in the upcoming episodes, we are going to discuss about various kinds of Wi-Fi 7 features and put them to test. You can find the link to download the PCATs in the description below. For more Wi-Fi 7 videos, stay tuned to Candela Technologies. This is Vishwak Sain signing off.